Good afternoon everyone, I'm Gary Martin and today I'm playing with Dan on the channel. Yeah, back on the channel. Back on the channel, we're at Woolley Park Golf Club, we're going to have a bit of a free old vlog and we're going to talk winter golf mats. Sounds like a good topic. So Dan, what are you playing on? Uh, officially 10. 10. So we're going to do a bit of a free old playing vlog and we're going to be testing what Snainton Golf have, have said is one of the best fairway mats on the market. And uh, how many shots do you want? What is it, a three old match? One shot? One shot. Do you want that then on the on this hole or the because we're gonna have a par four, par three, par four? Uh, I think because we're early on I think I'll have it on this one. Right, okay. So we'll uh, we'll see how low we can go. Let's do, do it. Yeah, of course. Right. I lost it. I lost the ball in there then. Ripped it. Right. We're trying something new today as well. We're trying, um, we're trying recording without a tripod, aren't we? We are. So it might be a bit shaky. I've been saying this for a while, but I said I'm going to start to watch some YouTube channels through winter, try and pick up some tips. And I found that and it might be something that doesn't stick. You know, again, comments, guys, let us know what you think of this video. But I found that it sometimes looks a bit more realistic with a bit more movement. Yeah. So we'll we'll see how it comes out. Also, in comments, does Gaz get past that for Ryan? I don't think he does. I'm feeling strong today. You don't get past that. Got some more exciting news for you as well. Oh, not with that. Guys, head. we've got him early doors. That was classic. <laughs> it's not bad, it's in play. We've got, uh, we've got James joining us in a bit. I don't know if we're going to be doing a vlog with him, but he's coming to play a few holes with us just out filming. Um, but I'm hoping to knock a few drives past him and hope this is working. I hope they're better than that one. <laughs> the, we're on a second hole, aren't we? We've had one warm up hole. Yeah. We didn't practice, we just got straight out onto the course. We broke every rule in the book, everything that I sort of advised to do. But it's winter golf now, isn't it? Yeah, and to be fair, we've got a par each. So. We've both got a par. But I noticed as well, Dan's not got any woods in bag. No. And what, what's the story behind that then? Uh, I'm just a bit erratic and being. I don't know, fairly longish hitter anyway. I can get away with irons. How many rounds have you played without woods? For years. What, you played more than one round without wood in your bag? Yeah, for years. Oh, don't get me wrong, I bought a driver. Right. But then when you see that it's costing you more shots than you're actually gaining. I, I actually thought this was just a bit of a like, you know, you're going through a phase where you're, no. you know, you're hitting your woods bad and you, you took them out. I'm sure last time I were on channel and I can't remember the result. Did I beat you? <laughs> yeah, I don't I think I'd. Might bring that one up. I don't think I'd woods that day either. He was one under off ten handicaps. I think I gave you one or two shots as well that day. <laughs> Unbelievable. Over over a free old vlog. So we're gonna I'm gonna pull these mats out. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you these mats that I bought. I bought a big job lot off uh, off eBay and off backer. You know we brought winter mats in at our club up at Huddersfield and. We got some sort of plastic mats, which I, I played off, and I really didn't like the feel of them. They were very unrealistic, you know, especially from inside 100 yards. You know, yeah. we wanted to play one of them like little wedge shots. Um, I couldn't really sort of get much feel, and I felt that they created too much spin as well. You know, I, I created like, quite a lot of spin on ball. Yeah. And I wanted to find something more realistic, so I'm going to show you what we bought, and we're going to have a go playing off them. You can see Dan's down there, he's uh, just a bit better angle than I did. Angle? It's about 40 yards. I'm not going to use the winter mat from here because this is not where I think they're valuable and I'll talk a bit more about that. It's not winter mats at Woolley, you don't require them. Uh, and we're 160 yards, it's more of a full shot. What are you hitting? Uh, I think I'm going to go seven and a, you know, a good solid seven. Pin to bike left. It is placing on fairways though. So. Take advantage of that. Right. No, you hit that five iron, that'll be fine. <laughs> oh, that's well struck. That's nice. Oh, it's hanging on. Maybe needed a little bit more. Just stalling air a bit, didn't it? Just 
get that done. Oh, Daniel. Heavy as, as the end result shows. All right, I've got a shot. Oh, let's get another one. You've got to go downgrade with this cat. Downgrade. Yep. I'm going to take it on the front quarter. And they do recommend, there's holes in these mats, they do recommend pinning it down. You know, but obviously, let's see what it's like without pinning it down. Yeah. I mean, I don't usually pin it down to be quite fair. Just front quarter. Front quarter. I class that as bike. Oh, sorry. What would you class it as? Well, quarter. <laughs> right. Excuses are in. I don't like kicking off mats. Yeah, it were, a, it were a better shot. The only thing is, I just clipped Matt going backwards, so it put me off my shot. All right. But I mean, strike-wise, much better. We've got a little 52. 52. Try and bump it into that bank, and then hopefully. Too much luck, actually. Well, after his lesson yesterday, I fancied it a bit, so yeah. no, I'll take that. Yeah. This is not easy. Not shot, she to practice, no, it's a bit of a made up shot. Oh, no, it's too much. Okay. Could have been worse from there. Too much risking. Me and Dan are going to be doing a bit of an interesting vlog as well. A lot of people I've, I've noticed on channel are, are going into sort of wind golf where they're completely shut down. You know, I've been moaning that winter's getting cold and, you know, golf's not as good, but some people just can't play for a winter. And Dan, you've set up an indoor swing room, haven't you, at home? Yeah, a bit of a simulator, so... A bit of a DIY simulator, and I went down, so uh, I'm going to be honest with you, Dan. For what you've spent, I went down to have a game with you on it, and I was thinking... Yeah, I'll spend 20 minutes there, have a try on it, you know, see what it's like. And I couldn't, you couldn't get me off it, could you? No, we had quite a good few hours at Augusta. It was absolutely amazing. I cannot believe the quality of the, you know, the play and, and the simulation for what you've spent. So we're going to do a vlog on that. And, you know, I wonder I'm, I wonder if people, you know, in Canada and places like that where it shuts down might be interested in that kind of thing. Because I know it's difficult for them to get any golf for a winter. Yeah, it just keeps you going, doesn't it? You know, with travelling conditions and that, so that's something we're going to vlog soon. I'm looking forward to that one. Right. So we're both here for three. Are you doing up tonight? No. You would have a chance to do that? Potentially, yeah. Although I might, I might be spending my winnings at this rate. A few holes at Augusta. Yeah. I'm going to set Bob off. I keep getting a bit of uh, stick off the drivers for putting with <laughs> I don't know if it makes any difference putting we have it on. <laughs> it doesn't say it does. Right. I think this needs to go in. You're worse than James, you. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh dear. I'm gonna I'm gonna concede this all, I'll let you put out, but that's what I like to hear. Five. So is this for four, Dan? For a, a par par start. Well, hold on. We'll have a quick look at your bag at the minute. Yeah, it's changed a bit, hasn't it? Let's see what you're uh, playing with these days. Just talk us through bags then, what you got? So, well, 
a few months ago, Gary phoned me and asked me if I wanted a fitting up at Huddersfield. So I've ended up with some T200s. I'll tell you what it were guys, we had, uh, we had a, a, a fitter coming didn't we for pros. Yeah. And we had a cancellation, we had a free spot and he just said have you got any members or you know friends that might be interested in a title spin. I knew you have been looking forward to these coming out hadn't you? So you I actually, had. you got fitted free release. But they still, I mean they took weeks didn't they? Yeah they were, well everything was delayed weren't it? Everything so. was delayed. And you know what? Orders now, sort of, you know, we're talking now early early November, aren't we? Yeah. They're now caught in January, February. It's just, just unreal, isn't it? It is, but it's not just golf, is it? So. Well, yeah, it's not just golf, but it, no driver of woods. I'm surprised at that. I mean, you're not used to that bad way in hybrid either. No, but I don't know. See what December brings. <laughs> Christmas. Yeah. Don't know if this is the right club with that wind. Yeah, probably short left, I guess. I'm going to go with a little bit of a different tactic here. And only because, if I am going to try and use these winter bats for a winter, I want the spin to be consistent and the ball flight. You know, I think you're playing off different surfaces all the time. And, um, or different match I'm going to get different spins and reactions, different launchers. What club you got? So I've got 50 out there, I don't want to have to use. Yeah, I think I could have gone. Bit of a stiff breeze. Nice. Oh, that's it's all over it. Oh, a bit longer or something. I could be near. Oh, that by the way. Now the question is, for a man that doesn't like mats, he's got a very sticky lie here. Well, you say I don't like mats, but I also don't like tight lines. <laughs> so there's only one option here. And do you know what, for social golf, you know, friendly golf, I think it's a great idea. I think it's good for golf clubs, you know, re reduce a little bit of damage, the grass in repairing. But I think just for your own confidence as well, especially on these close shot degrees. Hmm. My game has been a bit sort of birdies and bogeys. There's not been plenty of birdies, it's shot back in there far. Oh <laughs> Take the pin in or out? I mean, that's so harsh, isn't it? I think it was probably a little bit tricky for me, honest. But I think it was still going to drop though without pin. You think? Yeah, yeah it probably would have without a doubt. Probably it back at all. No. This one. I think that's the first time you've ever missed a putt. <laughs> Not happy. <laughs> Not happy. Back, so good last all. back to levels. Yeah. So just a, a driver wedge for you. Too far, I suppose it's all wet, slightly into the wind. If I get this right, it could be game over. <laughs> right. Oh, oh God! It's a great strike, guys. From my point of view, because my driver used to be all over until I bought this. Game changer. I didn't want to see that, if I'm honest. Ooh, no. Yeah, let's say. Uh, 
Yeah, not bad. No, 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 that was absolutely flush. Yeah, we're pure with that. I'm gonna go with the same tactic here. It's very shortly mowed, and it's just a, you know, it's not it's not wet by any means, but you know, you just it's a bit tight and a bit muddy. Yeah, and that's just winter golf, isn't it? I'll say though, you were saying it, weren't you? How good greens are. They are for this time of year, they're brilliant. This time of year, you can't believe it, can you? How, well, like, how good it is. 50 dollar. 54. What yard did you got? It's about 55 yards, but I don't want to play sort of right up in the air. A bit far left. Sit down, sit down, sit, sit. Oh dear. Just getting used to distances. Yeah. Yeah, this is where it's pitched. It has reacted pretty much how I struck it because I didn't I played it in low and I expected it sort of to, to release a little bit. I won't expect it to drop and stop. Um, but some of these maps, especially the plastic ones, when you play them full swings, they really do zip back. To the point where you can actually come off a par threes, can't you? Yep. When you're getting that silly amount of spin right. I'm fancying this. <laughs> he says giggling. Still, well, I've not got it. A bit of meat on oh. it. Open for daddy. So put to win it. Oh, it's exactly where you're aimed. It just didn't come in, did it? No, I thought it turned, but it kept straight. Is that good? Thank you. So we'll see what I've made of them, won't we? I've learnt from yours though, it's pretty straight. Yeah, you had all advantage there. I've seen you miss these though. Solid. Oh, you were never going to mess it, were you? we've tied. I think we've learnt a little bit today. I think we've learnt, I mean I certainly have, because I, I, I wouldn't want to go and, I'm playing in some winter alliances, you know, with members and stuff, where it is compulsory to use mats in fairways, but you can pick it and drop it into the semi-rough, but I'm actually quite confident now after that, are hitting off the mat. You know, I don't think I'd be too, sort of, scared of doing it now, you know, in a competition or in a, in a club comp. Or something. So we've just come off course and it's a, a coffee to warm hands up, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a bit cold. It's got a bit cold as we've, we've got in, but uh, just to conclude, obviously, great match, finished level. Well, should have uh, won, but... And then, following on, obviously we've carried on, we've played 18 holes, and I would say with that mat, I have used it a bit more than you, haven't I, really? Yeah, you've used it a lot. I've, I've carried on using it, and mainly from inside, sort of 100 yards, you know, when you've got that sort of half swing, and it's on a little bit of a sticky line. I mean, there's nothing wrong with lies here, it's just normal sort of winter conditions, but I just had a little bit more confidence with them, you know, 50 to 100 yard shots, and um, I think what, what I noticed as well, after switching camera off, is how much it helped with alignment. Yeah, Do you know, that. when you When you sort of put your mat down, you can put it on the floor, and then obviously get your body at right angles to the mat, so a little bit naughty like, but I think it helps with alignment as well. Little so, little, yeah. yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that one guys, and um, you know, definitely consider using one. If you're just playing social golf, I think it, it's good for speed of play obviously, not making divots, but I think it's probably a little bit easier. Off it's just going to help you, yeah, of course. It's going to help, yeah. isn't it? Um, and get in the comments guys, is there any other winter mats we need to test? That's the best one I've found. Um, and I will be selling them as well. I, I did buy a, a bulk load of them because they were like eleven pounds each, and I think I've ended up buying about hundred, netting them to sort of like about three or four pounds. So I'm selling them at five ninety nine delivered. Um, and you know, if anybody wants to try one, I'll drop a link in the description. See you in a couple of days, guys. Bye.